Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. We're inside RRHQ 2.0 and it's crappy outside. We got a bad couple days, which actually makes me happy because now we can work inside and we've got a problem that we need to address. So that's what we're gonna do today in the interior frame. So let's get into it. All right, so about two and a half months ago, guys, we did the insulation, which is a Rockwell R23 bat. It's five and a half inches, but it is full. Like it, it completely fills up our bay and then some. When we put our Myrex over top of it, we use the Twinette, which you can see behind the Myrex right here. It's a sticky two-sided tape. The problem is, this is where we have an issue. It's coming off. It's been two and a half months. It has no structure anywhere, and the insulation is expanded now to full width, and it has caused this Myrex to almost stretch a little bit and pull away from this tape over the last two and a half months. I don't think I'm concerned with it all coming down, but I'm happy to be in here now getting all of our wall girts on. Um, people have been asking, why don't you have electrical? Where's all your utilities? Why aren't you doing that before you get into your walls? Well, that will all kind of be addressed, but look at this. This is what I want to take care of right now. I want to get our Myrex all secured back to our wall and get it covered with framing. So we're going to get into our girts. We're going to be doing a two by six girt every two foot. Greg and I actually spent yesterday doing a lot of that prep work. We cut a bunch of our boards up. We got everything organized. So we're really ready to fly here, but we do have a couple areas we're going to have to slow down, do some details for air control around doors and windows. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get some wood going up. All right, because we're doing a two foot on center wall girt, what I'm going to do to make this easy on us is we got a story pole, this 18 foot two by six, and I just went ahead and made my first laser mark here. This is the top of a wall girt when I stand it up. And this is, I think, gonna make perfect sense as we do it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make a two foot mark on this board so that we can take our laser very quickly and efficiently set it up. And that's gonna give us a perfect spot where our uh, girts are gonna go around the entire building and they'll all be you know, completely level. We could do a, like a block and just set a block on top of our first one, but you get like a compounding air sometimes. And I think this is the, the gonna be the easiest and most efficient way for us to do this. So what I'm going to have here, if I take my square, and I'm just gonna square these marks around. And I take a screw and I put one on each one of my marks, what I'm gonna have is my Stabila laser. I'm gonna be able to set it right on that mark. And when I turn my laser on, I can set it so that it's always gonna be hitting this two foot on center mark. And then it's gonna give me a perfect line all the way around the building where I gotta put my girt. That's my, that's my thought. So let me get this done. We'll set it up and we'll see how it does. Okay. So, this is much. just to do as much prep work as possible, so we don't have to do it in the air. And these don't have to be perfect. We have a two by six skirt, so. All right, let's go ahead. I'm gonna go back up, screw this bad boy in. It's actually not bad in here at all. No. I feel like it's warmer today than it was yesterday. I think because it's colder outside than it was yesterday. So now that we have our story pole with a screw at every two foot, I should be able to take my laser, hang it on here, and I can very easily just quickly micro adjust this like so. So now I have a laser going around the building right where the top of my girt's gonna go. So now that we have that, we can go ahead and start installing our girts. And when we get to the next row, we'll just move it up to the next one. Cool. Yeah, this is just where we gotta be careful because we don't wanna tear into our Corvoom in the corner, but let's... Uh, this is top side, correct? Why, yeah, why don't you just go down there at the end? Okay. Much more balance than, yeah, there you go, buddy. Okay, this is top side. Come on in right there. 
This laser's bouncing a lot. It's windy outside. I'm going to also be nailing through the center of whenever I can, right where our twinette is. So these nails are gonna be going through adhesive behind the Myrex. So I know somebody's gonna say, all that work to do this air control layer, and then you're just gonna nail through it. First off, it probably doesn't matter because my nails are gonna be compressed between wood and Myrex, but I am gonna be conscious of trying to always nail through my twinette just for an added layer of adhesion right at my nail location. All that bounces from when you're pushing that wall. I mean, it is a big wall. Well, it, the whole thing, I mean, we're not, you're moving it literally. You're moving the whole building. It doesn't matter if this was a steel building or if it was wood, it doesn't matter. You could hit it and it would reverberate into whatever. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It doesn't really matter. Now go, Greg, no, go, go, uh, go like around the backside and come up here because what we'll do is you're locking in so it can't like do a flexing motion. Look how much more solid that is. It's crazy. Well, you got an 18 foot board and the slightest of movements is causing the slightest of movements which are exaggerated when they're 25, 30 feet away. All right, cool, let's go. Problem solved. Now we're just gonna go around and we're gonna hit this line all around. That way we only have to move the laser once. You can just see how much this was pushing out on the Myrex, the insulation. Not that it was falling. I mean, we had this whole wall over here for probably a month before we even covered the Myrex. The insulation didn't go anywhere. It's just so full. In hindsight, because it's a wall, I might go with an R21 next time. We did the R21 on the last building and it wasn't as tight. So I don't know, it's probably gonna be just fine. We got an R23 instead of a 21, but uh, definitely the R23 is pretty darn full for a two by six cavity. So just, just so you guys know, if you're doing this, I would recommend covering up your Myrex with your framing or getting it covered. Don't let it sit there for two and a half months. All right, so now that we have this board going into our corner, remember our corner board is back here, we will come across this way. Now this is just gonna get a toenail. Not concerned with that. You shouldn't be either. We've done a lot of buildings and never had an issue because it's also gonna get framed right here. But before we do this framing, this door opening where our Myrex is, we're gonna want to tape seal it back to the opening. Even though we use the twinette, that's not our, we're not relying on that. So what I'm going to do is just take my Razan and we'll do this on all of our penetrations, all of our windows and doors. We're just going to eyeball center of the tape. Okay, and then we're just gonna wrap it right back around onto the jam. I like the Razan because it has like a little bit of a stretch to it. So you can actually uh, stretch it around quite nicely. Now down here, this is gonna be a door obviously. We don't have it finished so water's kind of coming in underneath this door. I will also Fentrum do this much better when it dries out. And then the water won't be coming back obviously because it will be sealed off so if you're seeing that that's what's going on and it is annoying for me but it's just going to be that way for right now just squeegee this make sure it's sealed there so i'll do that around this whole perimeter and that'll get us air sealed Normally, we just run all of our lumber, and you guys maybe have seen this, we'll just run it right through an opening and then we'll come back and cut it all perfectly. I don't wanna do that because I don't wanna accidentally cut through any of my air control layers. We'll do our cuts on the ground and we will save ourselves the risk of uh, having any problems. It's really raining out there. Can't hear it. Cats and dogs. You know, the other thing Greg and I did is we sorted through all these boards because we had probably a one every, every other one. It was a bad bunk. Yeah, it was a bad bunk of lumber. So that whole bunk over there is probably gonna go back. We tried to find the straightest boards. Not that we're partial, like, I don't care. It's 2024, you do whatever you wanna do. But in my building, I wanted the straightest wood possible and I wanted to make sure 
that it wasn't gonna have a bunch of twists and crowns. So we took the time. I think it's gonna be worth it too. Yeah, it will be. Okay, I'm not gonna be able to do this section until we finish all this. So we're just gonna make marks every time. Greg, let's go ahead and move that laser. So in theory, this should be two foot. Is it? It's perfect, buddy. Oh, okay. So we're golden. So now we'll go ahead and we'll put our top of our board right there. I'm basically, Greg, pushing in as far as I feel comfortable. Sure. All right, now that we're on the bottom row, we need to be careful. We don't want to push too tight down because when this Myrex kind of popped out and we lost some of our adhesion, it also kind of, I don't know if it messed up, but it definitely pulled it a little bit and we don't want to we don't want to push down too tight. We're just going to set it there because it doesn't have to be all the way down. So I've got this little bit of two inches right here. I wanted that because I wanted my materials off the concrete. If I'm bringing a broom around, I can clean that up. If water gets sprayed on the floor from the wash bay, it's not going to go right against my material. I wish we had the mega deck in here. You know, You're really making this difficult on me, aren't you? I always look for the best side, Greg. I like that side. We want our wood to look beautiful. To the other end, my friend. Captain Kyle, I can't drive worth the crap. <laughs> what? I, I couldn't get the wheels to go Wait, stop. I'm not drunk, I swear to God. You know what this means, Greg? We get that wall framing done, I could build stairs. You could build stairs so that your family can come out and enjoy the building. Well, just my wife. She's the only one that's scared to go. For some reason, she won't go on the lift. She's like, stairs or nothing. I ain't doing it unless there's stairs. You know what? Now that I'm in this position, which I feel like is your old position, mm -hmm. I really respect you now. Yeah. This is a lot harder here. Yeah, you should respect the drip, Karen. And I, res I respect the struggles you went through. All right, guys, now that we've gotten up this far, we're going to be framing in through our windows. We need to cut out our Myrex. We need to do all of our taping details on the windows, kind of like the door, but a little different. And then we also, if you notice, we're missing some Myrex at the top, but we also have a detail that I want to show you that we kind of uh, late in the game decided that we were going to do because once we started running the Myrex, we saw an issue. So let's get up here. Let's take care of that. And then we'll move into the window framing and continue our wall framing. So what we found as a potential problem is that when we run our Myrex up this wall right to the truss, there's really nothing back here. We've got our rock wall that extends up into our ceiling, but there's nothing solid. So when we bring our ceiling Myrex in, there really would be a hard way to tape. So what Greg and I are going to do is we made a T-nailer, okay? So it's going to get pushed in like so. Greg, go ahead and get yours where you want it about. It's about where... So what we have to do is we're just going to mark where this is going to go. Greg, you go ahead and do your side. Go up a little bit more. And we're gonna push this, uh, we're gonna cut out some of our rock wool so that this sits in there like you see behind us. We already got one so you can see what it's gonna look like. And that is gonna allow, um, hopefully this board to go in without a ton of compression. Yeah, we're gonna lose a little bit of R value right here. But I think this is going to be good for us because we'll be able to put our Myrex up the wall, have a good place to tape it, and then a good place to join our ceiling and wall Myrex together. And we didn't want to just compress the rock wool because when you compress it, watch this joint, 
see how it opens up. We want to keep that, try to keep that nice and tight. So we're just going to do a cut. And then we'll just take this and roll it out. We'll just set it right up here. That cut could have been better, huh? You gonna do yours there? I was just trying to stay out of yeah. the shot. You're you the, are the shot, dude. You're the star of the show. You're the what shot, are you right? Talking about. Now, hopefully, this will kind of sit right in there. So there we go. Now we've got a spot for our Myrex to get taped to and our ceiling Myrex to get taped to. Otherwise, this would have been a really hard detail to do. It's, you know, one 16 foot board we had to use here, but I think it's, I think it's well worth it and it'll give us a place to secure all of our ceiling frame and everything. So we're gonna do that down this length and then we can finish this last section of Myrex. That's ah. why I don't like putting my drill right there. Cause like when you crouch down, it always pushes it up and off the I know, man. belt loop. I know, man. I like to put it right here. So when I bend over, my fat belly kind of like blocks it into place. So if I go right here, over. and then it's like, yeah, it ain't going nowhere. And you it's know? a little, little spot for all that belly fat to rest exactly. as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Imagine if we would have had all this done before we insulated and we could have just like cut it on the ground and tucked them up there. Yeah, imagine. Yeah, sometimes this it's- This is kind of fun. I yeah. mean, it's bonding time for you and I in the lift. Yeah. Just I mean, yeah, just me sitting here watching you because make, we weren't smart enough to grab two knives, so I get to watch you do it. Making memories, you know? We could have taken out this whole top piece. What do you mean? Oh, yeah, that's not. I'm, I'm an idiot. I'm looking right here, Greg. Remember we were going to just remove these top pieces? Let's not do that. No. Nah. I think that's stupid. I think it's a, you know, it's, a, it's, a, it's an idea. What do you have for lunch today? Oh, dude, you should see my fridge, dude. Is it all stocked full? Bro, my wife, I'm serious. I should have taken a picture today. The amount of food prep she did for, for, for me, I'm going to say me, but it's probably the whole family, uh -huh. um, is out of this world, dude. You want to think it was for you. No, I think it was. So now that we have that framing done up there, we can go ahead and run our Myrex. And fortunately for us, it's like an exact half. So we won't have like any waste, which is kind of nice. I think I need a new hobby. What's your hobby now? I don't have one. Oh, yeah, I'd say you need one. Every man should have a good hobby. Yeah, that'll work. Nice, dude, I like your style. You just keep going. Yeah, there we go. Just to get that started for me. Okay, so what we have to do, unlike the doors, what the heck? Where we just had to put the Razan around the Myrex corner, we have here our IS-20. So this is the Fentrum that's taped back to the window jam, and this is gonna be our air seal because we don't actually seal, look at this water coming. We don't actually seal the window on the outside, the bottom is open, but before we do that, we're gonna go ahead and put some 
great stuff in this cavity. We could put some rock wool, but I think this will be just a little bit quicker maybe. You know, I always wondered though, hmm. okay, so you leave the, you leave the uh, bottom undone so water can get out, but then we foam it? So how's the water going out the bottom? Well, I guess I stay away it, from the outside. It shouldn't, because you're not going all the way out to the outside. No, I'm not going all the way out to so the you're outside. You're leaving a little space in between there. And so if it makes it past- And water shouldn't be in here. Yeah, water shouldn't be in here. It would be if the frame failed. Exactly. Right, whoa, why are you going so low? Go back up. I want to work, my working heights right here, yeah, yeah. Wait, wait, that's why, we'll go down a little bit. Okay, that's good, perfect. No, go down. All right, now that we've got these windows foamed with a little bit of great stuff foam, we've got this IS200. And what we're going to do, Greg, I'm gonna start it. Actually, how does that look to you? We're pretty straight, huh? So yeah, I'm just trying to pull it a little right. bit my way, just keep it kind of straight. Yep, keep it tight. This is, this is actually gonna be a little bit of a struggle. So we're gonna do the best we can. I don't know if it's gonna look beautiful. Because we have such a deep jam extension on the window, Last time we did this, the window was back here. We had plenty of room to work. But now what we're gonna do is basically just line this right up with our, our jam frame. And if I get a little bit of fish mouth like that, it's not gonna be too big of a deal because we're actually gonna take Razan and that's gonna close up this seal with the Myrex. So that'll come next. We're gonna get around the window, do the best we can. This is not bad though, Greg. No, I've seen worse. I've, I've done worse. Before you pull that. Okay, before I pull that. You wanna like pull these corners together and like make a slit right here. Honestly, so they no. Overlap each, each other? No, because I don't care if it gives mm -hmm. me a little bit of fish mouth because I'm gonna cover it with Razan anyway. Sure. But if we get a, if we get a cut, we might be past our point. So you just take your, can you take like your square maybe and just like stick that in there like that? Get it kind of as tight as possible. Maybe. Here, I'll let you do that. Give me my square. We'll kind of get it stretched down. Yes. And then pull that, yeah, and then just kind of start it again right there. And if there's a little fish mouth, ooh, you're a little far out, buddy. Yeah, I know, I know. Yeah, that's, let's that, that's go ahead and right, do it. That's all right, that's all right. Yeah? Yeah, well. Sorry. If you say so. So we'll work that down, and then that can just roll over the corner. Yeah, right we'll, here, we'll, this guy. We'll tap it. Let's open that up and get it down all the way to the corner as much as possible. There, we can resign that. And as long as this is sealed together, there's really nowhere for the air to go, so. This entire hole was like this. There. See, I, I feel like I kind of understand it, but at the same time, it's still kind of difficult. I think the trick is to not really understand what's going on. And just, just do, do it. it. Yeah. I feel that. When you ask too many questions, people get hurt. Well, and this is, we got some, we got some major, see, I'm, I'm a little bit, I don't want to be that stretched out. You see what I'm saying? I can see that, yeah. Oh, well, we're just going to kind of run with it, man. This is going to all look great in the end. You want to see push that side in. There we go. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. This is, there's way too much material in this corner. <laughs> this goes back to when we put this on the windows and we were like, mm -hmm. ah, this is about how much we need. We were wrong. Yeah, I think this is when you start eyeballing them. So now this is an air seal. So we're sealed to the back of the window here, which we did before we installed. And then we're sealed here to the jam. And then we're going to go ahead and seal the Myrex to the Fentrum uh, around the whole perimeter. There. So now we're sealed back to the... Uh, the IS-20, which is the white Fentrum for interior use. Here you go, buddy. And this is just a little air pocket, no big deal. Now we can put our jam extension in our trim, which we need another inch and a half of material. So it's, we still have a little bit of jam extension to do, and that'll go when we do our window trim. I mean, it's definitely more air sealed than most. I mean, even these little fish mouths, I mean, they're, as long as you squeeze all this together. I don't think I'm getting anything through there, but we're gonna find out when we do a blower door test just how how we did, I guess. I don't think so. I think he did. 
but just like origami, I'll keep folding and making it work. Do it, man. Maybe it won't be a giraffe, but it'll turn out to be a dolphin. Okay, so there we go. Now we have the window, the, the Fentrum sealed from the window to the jam, and then we have our Razan from the Myrex to the Fentrum. So this is all air controlled now. We're good to go, and this is ready to get framed. Greg, this might have been one of our best inventions yet, man. I mean, how many times have we taken this laser around the inside to do things? See, it's not really a new invention. It's just redefining the wheel and the purpose of the wheel. Stole my screw gun? You gave it to me. We have video proof. Are Roll you, it back, Michael. Are you sure? This is something we've never done before, but I'm actually thinking it's actually not too bad. So this is a little bit different detail here, guys, because we couldn't figure out, we did this double two by four to get a nice solid corner, but that's going truss to truss. Here we have no trusses, and we didn't want to just frame a board back here because of the way we do our framing, and you're going to see why we went this route, but what we did was we took a piece of four inch, I thought it was bigger. I thought it was bigger too. <laughs> we took a piece of four inch Rasan that has a double tape backing and we taped it onto the back side of our Myrex. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our framing, Greg. The long one. Let's take our long one. This is gonna be our top board that's gonna define our ceiling like so. And then we can pull the backing on our Rasan and tape it over. What that's gonna do is it's gonna air seal to this board. Then when we do our Myrex on our ceiling, we can air seal to this board also. So we'll go ahead and do this and then we'll show you what it looks like and it'll probably make more sense. So now you can see what we were doing. You can see back over here, the tape is behind and all we're gonna do is put our framing up and this is because we couldn't find a good way to make sure that this Myrex was air sealed and a nice tight corner without doing some sort of framing, but we couldn't do the total T nailer because then when we come and do this, it gets weird going around this board. So I am actually impressed with how, how much easier this was than I thought. So we're just gonna wrap this right around. So now the Myrex goes under and is seal taped to this. And when we come and do our Myrex on our ceiling, we can seal tape it to this board because now we can put another board here and it's not going to interfere with our air control layer. So it's kind of like in residential, Greg, when good, smart, thought out framers do their walls, they'll do their house wrap and they'll put a piece of house wrap on the top of their top plate top. and then they can just tape it on the inside. That's something we should have done on that header. Mm. That's what we should have done. So, yeah. all right, let's squeegee this and move to the next one. back there, but I guess that won't hurt. I think this is great, man. We could almost just follow that little line all the way around. All I saw was that swinging and just ripping right into the microphone. Oh no, man, I got the skills. <laughs> Go away from it. Go away from it. My heart ain't ready hey, for a rolling stone. All right, now that we have these walls up, we can go ahead and connect this corner. So as of right now, none of this is connected. They're all loose. We're gonna set up our laser. Remember when we did this corner framing, we set the laser up to make sure it was straight this way. That means this plane on this side is plumb but that doesn't mean that this side is plumb. So now we're gonna go ahead and we'll set up the Stabila and hopefully it's not too far off. Greg, here's what I'm gonna do though, dude. I'm gonna set it up off the corner because these will be in our way in order to get way up top. These are all in our way? Yep. That's what I wanted to check. Or do we just risk it for the biscuit? Risk it for the biscuit, that's what I like. All right, I like to risk it for the biscuit. So now what we can do is we're gonna, we got some four inch, GRKs, and probably the easiest thing to do is to kind of push these back out of the way, like so. Give myself a line. 
Not that it really matters. Actually, that doesn't matter unless the laser is gone. I'm just gonna do this. I could get a pocket hole Craig jig in here and put those suckers in here too, but I don't really have to. This is, is not going anywhere. We're not climbing up this wall. I'm not too concerned. All right, we got our first corner done. We've got two walls basically done, but honestly, this is like the easiest part. So we got a lot of windows to cut open now that we know what we're gonna do with that detail. But my big push is my garage doors. My installer called me, said that he had the doors and we need to get this ceiling framed, get it my rexed, then get our over framing under that so that the doors can be hung and we don't have to do a bunch of rework. So that's kind of the big push to get this done and that's all gonna get done in the next couple days here. So we're gonna go ahead though and not get on that ceiling right away. I wanna get as much framing done as possible while we have this crappy weather and he hasn't called me and bugged me too much about having that door installed. All right, well, we've got basically the main three walls all framed up. So we got our windows cut out, we got them taped off. We got all of our wall framing done. And this was all so that we could get to the point of doing our ceiling Myrex and our framing because I need to get that done for my garage doors. Obviously it's, it's all gotta get done, but the big push is my garage doors are actually in. I've got a Rainer garage door coming. We've got a AlumaView door. So if you haven't seen those, it's an aluminum door with glass. The thing is gonna be gorgeous. It's all black, it's powder coated on the inside black. So all the, the rails, the hard, everything's gonna be black. It's gonna look amazing. I went with, I think, I think it's called Black Mist Glass. So if you guys are interested in that, I'm gonna have one over here in this doorway. And then the big door is also going to be an AlumaView door. I'm super pumped. We did them at the Oregon Music Garage, if you remember that. So ever since then, I've been like, dude, when I do a shop, that is what I want. And that's what I went with. Um, it's gonna be amazing. But we gotta get the ceiling done, the framing all done, the Myrex done so that the garage door guys can come and do the install. So Rainer Door Authority called me. That's who my door installer is. They, uh, they have the Rainer doors in and they're just kind of waiting for scheduling. So we're going to try to get this ceiling done tomorrow. We've got some details to do up there at the um at the, the ceiling line where the wall and ceiling meet and yeah i'm just excited because this stuff is starting to get done it's looking awesome in here having the windows cut open it looks gorgeous uh wall framing isn't super sexy but it is a necessity and i know a lot of people are going to ask me but what about your electrical kyle or your plumbing or your hvac stay tuned it will all be done i'm not jumping the gun on my framing Maybe doing the ceiling, I could probably leave so that I can do things like vents. So I got that vent pipe up there. That does have to go through the roof, but I can always climb up in the attic and do that little stuff. For the most part, all of my electrical and stuff will be done on the inside of the Myrex air control air. So we're gonna go ahead and get out of here for now. You guys have a good day, a good time, and we'll catch you in the next video. We're gonna start working on ceiling details and I'll take you through that.